Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error that is direct X12 is not supported. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then find the latest BIOS and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update in Security, and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Right now, the latest version is 2.4 H2. So make sure that you update your Windows 11 to version 2.4 H2, and then launch the game. Similarly, for Windows 10 users, update it to version 2.2 H2 and that also the latest update and then launch the game. Next step is to update Steam. Now for this, you can go to Steam at the top, click on Steam and over here, uh, here you can see check for Steam client updates, click on it and update your Steam and then launch the game. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. If you have also update your Intel graphic card uh, graphic card driver, if you if you have an Intel graphic card, the inbuilt one. So in my case, I'll show you. I have this uh, Intel and Nvidia. So make sure that you also update your Intel graphic card. So I'm showing for Nvidia first. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can go to amd website select your graphic card and then update the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer now for intel to update your intel card you can use this intel driver and support assistant you can download this and you can run this exe file and install intel driver and support assistant and then you can launch intel driver and support assistant and this will let me download it run this exe file click on install click on yes to allow now click on launch over here now once you click on launch it will scan your computer if there is any update so here you can see intel graphics so you can just install your graphic card and then once the installation is complete restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed so open the steam folder steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added you can click on the game and then select high performance over here again scroll up and then click on add desktop app and then open blue client binaries win64 select this exe file this is important this file is important now click on add 
once the game is added now scroll down and find the game in the list so once you find the game click on the game and then again select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working make sure your graphic card is enabled in device manager so make a racking the start menu and then go to device manager and make sure expand display adapter make sure your dedicated graphic card is enabled so sometimes you it's disabled so you will see enable device enable it now the next step is to is for desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi or display cable to the discrete graphic card your nvidia or amd graphic card not the motherboard slot because the motherboard slot may have that intel graphic card so make sure that you connect the cable to the nvidia or amd graphic card slot and next step is to install direct x5 now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see direct x you can download it and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then accept next i will uncheck this install the bing bar next and once once this is installed restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check so you will see finish option finish it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a active on the game select manage now click on browse local files open this blue client binaries win64 make a double click over here instead of launching the game from steam you can launch the game from here just make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties and this time put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security or windows security and then click on windows security over here and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then open blue client folder binaries win64 and then select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings over here allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder blue client binaries win64 and then select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on another app and then click on browse and this time go back and select the first exe file click on open click on add in my case both the files are already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now also the next step is to press all plus enter as, as soon as possible so as soon as you launch the game you can press all plus enter to switch to window mode and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make our active in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check also rename or delete uh, rename the save game files or the config files so for this you can go to this pc open c drive now open the users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder over here you can see uh, blue client folder create a backup of this file uh, folder now paste it over here 
you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup because this has a save game files now once you have a backup now you can rename this file or yeah you can rename it dot old now you can launch the game and then check you will lose all your game progress you have to start everything from scratch so only if you agree you can rename it or else you already have a backup over here so whenever you want you can just put it back and you can go to documents folder also do the same thing uh, here you can see this game folder you can just create a backup first copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup now you can rename it you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can just rename it and then launch the game you have to start the game from scratch now if you face any problem if you want the old folder back you can always put it back so you already have a backup now the next step is to disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game also if you have any other overlay application like discord running you can turn off overlay in discord you can open nvidia app go to settings and then turn off overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner Riva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you will see visual files so you have to download this c++ file x86 and x64 so download both x86 x86 and x64 file so download both both the file and once the download is complete you can run both the exe file install it once both are installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have any kind of uh, hotas wheel pedals or any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect uh, additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it remove the undervolt if you have undervolted the computer next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 
फोर नाइन वन फाइव टू फोर नाइन वन फाइव वन फाइव टू नाउ क्लिक ऑन सेट ओवर हियर देन क्लिक ऑन ओके ओके अप्लाई ओके ओके नाउ रीस्टार्ट कंप्यूटर मेक श्योर दैट यू रीस्टार्ट यू कंप्यूटर आफ्टर दिस नाउ the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can just make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to external drive or d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel